All right guys, in this video, I'm gonna tell you about that one secret ingredient you need to get that Jimi Hendrix tone. Coming up. So I know there's tons of articles and videos about how to get the Jimi Hendrix tone. And you can buy all kinds of pickups, pedals, and amps that can replicate his sound. But before you go dropping a bunch of cash on that stuff, let me show you one secret to getting his tone that a lot of people aren't talking about. But for me, it was a revelation. So like many guitarists, I was heavily influenced by Hendrix. I obsessed with him when I was younger. I would write all my essays about him. I even had a, a tribute act in high school called Third Stone. And I played a Strat for most of my early years, mainly because of him. So yes, you kind of do need a Strat style guitar to sound like him. A fuzz face would be nice, a wah-wah pedal, maybe a univibe. But he also had a very unique preference to string gauges. And when I put his string gauges on my Strat, it was like a light bulb went off. It was like a eureka moment. Like that was the sound I was looking for. It seemed like all my Hendrixy riffs sounded more Hendrixy. And there was definitely something unique about his special string set. So his string gauges went as follows, 10, 13, 15, 26, 32, and then 38 on the low E. So you'll notice that the first, second, and fourth strings, the E, B, and D string, are typical gauges that you would find in a standard light gauge 10 set. And then you'll notice that the G string is lighter and the A and the E strings are way lighter. And because of this difference in gauge and tension on the strings, mind you, he did tune down to E flat, sometimes D. But because of this difference, the strings sound a little bit more janglier and definitely have a different kind of character when you dig in. Let me show you something. I'm gonna play some Hendrixy stuff and try to emphasize those uh, thinner strings, the uh, third, fifth, and sixth strings. <laughs> Especially on that uh, third string right here. I can really hear that slinkiness that I wasn't hearing before uh, with a typical 10 gauge set. And then when you hit this open low E, it's just got this like, it's not thinner, but it's a little bit more janglier. Especially on the neck pickup. Here's the middle position that he used a lot too. Just to compare, this is a regular set of 10 to 46 strings on a Strat. a couple different companies that sell like a Jimi Hendrix set like Pyramid and maybe Dean Markley but I actually bought single strings from JustStrings.com and disclaimer they're not paying me to talk about them or promote them I've just been buying strings from them for many years because they have basically every brand every gauge and I'll put a link in the description down below so I bought single string Daddario NYXLs because as you know they're my favorite string right now and it came out to about 15 bucks which is two bucks more than a normal NYXL pack so it's not too bad. So to really nail that Hendrix tone, try starting with the string gauges. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised.
surprised. As always, if you like this video, click like. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.